Uh, my name is Brandon Fish, and I'm the Vice President of Human Resources here at Property Solutions. I'm Cami Cable, Vice President of Human Resources at ClearLink. I'm Diana Hasselfeld, and I'm the nurse practitioner here at Varian Medical Systems. I'm Chad Myler. I'm the wellness coordinator here at USANA Health Sciences. I'm Randy Rasmussen, Vice President of Human Resources at Nelson Laboratories. The metrics that we use, obviously, being an HR, part of what I measured on is employee satisfaction, uh, churn, attrition. And so one of the things that I focus on uh, quarterly is to send out employee satisfaction surveys. And in those surveys, we, we leave it pretty open-ended. Some, some of them are multiple choice, but we ask the employees what are the things that help contribute to their satisfaction on the job. And so the best we can, we formulate as many metrics as we can based on answers from the employees. We haven't necessarily, you know, determined how that impacts the business monetarily overall, but we do know that employee satisfaction is an important part of our, our success as a business. And so really the main metric I use is, is the, on a scale of one to 10, the employees will rate their culture, our culture and their satisfaction. And I'm looking for an eight, nine or a 10 and it, it's, we've consistently had our ratings because of the fun things we do and the extracurricular activities outside of even the wellness programs that contribute to that. Uh, our, but we're in, it's a work in progress. We're coming up with all the time with new ways to measure how the benefits of, uh, of these activities are contributing to the employment. So as far as employee morale goes, we do an annual employment engagement survey as well as a benefit satisfaction survey. Uh, those two surveys we don't do just to check the box. We really value the feedback we get with our employees. And so we'll go and do those surveys, but then do follow-up focus groups with those employees to further kind of dive into the details, further understand. Um, additionally, we also hold a town hall meeting once a year where the 360 Fit program actually came into play. Uh, our executive team has always been wanting to understand what is meaningful to our employees. So in 2010, they wanted to understand what our employees wanted next if we became more profitable. And so the thing they wanted was they wanted free health care, and that further led to our evolution of our program today. We do do an employee uh, yes. survey, and we do that, it comes out of HR, and that's about an every other year survey, and we, we uh, gear that to morale and ownership and um, uh, the buy-in of the employee, open communication, some things that we need to foster, and, and we've, we have uh, tried to improve our career development here our, and career opportunities and our open communications through getting information from those surveys. We do use metrics to measure employee morale. Um, we use an employee uh, engagement survey to measure that. Um, the trends that we've observed, uh, if, we, if we do a survey right after an employee event, the morale is usually much higher. Uh, so we know that the events are popular. Um, we usually send out an, an a survey at the end of every year asking employees which events they like the most, which ones they'd like to change, uh, and so we get good feedback that way to plan our events for the next year. We've talked a lot about the wellness initiatives that we do, but there's a lot of other things that we do. A company hot dog eating contest that, that stirs a bunch of excitement every year. This last Christmas, we did uh, in a, a contest to see who could drink the most eggnog in one hour. Uh, the results were a little bit interesting on that, but we had a lot of participation and it was, it was fun. Uh, we do, as I mentioned, we do movie night, so we'll rent out movie theaters and do premieres twice a year. We do our, our corporate cabin retreat. We do a fun family summer party. We also do an annual Christmas party last year. Uh, we rented out Provo Beach Resort and had a, a wonderful time with our families. Last summer, our, our summer party was uh, the Stadium of Fire down in Provo. We rented out the entire section, and that was our summer party. Families could come and participate in that. And then we do just a lot of sporadic, uh, spontaneous events throughout the year. I mean, our CEO promotes this kind of fun stuff. He's always saying that if we're not creating legendary tales of adventure, that we're not doing a good job. 
Some of the events we do for uh, to increase employee morale or engagement uh, vary for something as simple as bringing a snow cone machine to work um, and letting people get unlimited snow cones or ice cream trucks to Cinco de Mayo parties with cash filled pinatas uh, to you know your traditional summer parties and things like that. Um, but for us what we found is sometimes it's just the little things that they least expect um, that they appreciate the most. Uh, some of those things that we've done include having massage therapists come on site, uh, having free lunches, uh, different things like that. Um, as far as morale goes at ClearLink, uh, one of the things that we value is we always want people to have kind of a friend at work just because we realize that if you have a friend at work it makes things more enjoyable coming every day. So we try to create an engaging environment where people can come and kind of be a big kid at work. So we have scooters and tire swings and all sorts of fun activities to create a little bit of a break from the nuances of work but still are productive and performance based. And we also have, um, we have group programs so where we um, function as a group for the American Cancer Society and, and we do things for the EMS, uh, bike and walk and those things pull us together. And then we also have one big activity a year for the employees and that's either um, a big uh, summer party or a big Christmas party. And uh, the Christmas party includes an extra party for the kids. and so. We just had a big um, sleigh riding party at, um, up in the mountains and, and I think those things kind of pull us together as, as a community of workers. So we do that a couple of times a year and that helps. My advice to someone wanting to improve morale at their office uh, would be to find out first what is it that employees enjoy doing. Um, because we have a lot of very creative people. We have a lot of outlets for creativity here. Um, other places of employment may enjoy more uh, outdoor activities. Um, it really depends on your population and, and what they enjoy, and then finding ways to help them do that. 